In this video, I'd like to share some gospel and jazz chords and progressions that we can use within the song Everlasting God by William Murphy. This song is in the key of C sharp major. And this song starts off with a progression that plays the four, the six, and then the three. And this allows us to be able to add different chord substitutions or even passing chords within this simple progression, right? If I play it simply, it sounds something like this. The Lord is my light, salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? Right, these three chords are F sharp major seven. Whom shall I fear? To the six, which is a B flat minor nine or B flat minor seven, right? We can enhance it by adding a ninth. Whom shall I be afraid? And then the three is an F minor seven. So, like I said, we can add substitutions or passing chords to this simple progression to enhance it slightly or to make it sound a little bit more different. Um, in this case, to learn or expand that word musical vocabulary. So we started off on the four, right, which is an F sharp major seven. And one of the things I like doing is adding a second or a major nine, which sort of fills up the chord a little bit more. So the Lord is my light sound. Now, we know that the next chord is a 6, which is a B flat minor 7. So one of the things we can do is use a secondary dominant, which in simpler terms just means the 5 of our destination chord. So in this case, our destination chord is a B flat. So the 5 of that is an F. And I like voicing this F in this manner. It's an F7 flat 9 sharp 5. It looks a little bit complicated, but if we split this chord up, all I'm really playing is an F sharp minor in this first inversion over the F with its minor 7th. That gives me that sound, which is sort of a dominant sound, which leads us to the 6. So the Lord is my light and sound. Whom shall I fear? Now for the six, I like playing a B flat minor nine. So in this case, this is a B flat minor seven, which is simply a C sharp major over a B flat. I add the fifth down here, and all I do is add the ninth or the second of B flat, which is C. So the Lord is my light and salvation, whom shall I fear? Now, if we go a little bit back to that passing chord, which we used, we can actually substitute this for another version of this F dominant, which is this chord right here, an F7 sharp five. I like adding this B in here as well, which gives it a little bit more dissonance, right? And that leads us to the six. Now the next chord is a three, right? Whom shall I be afraid? Which is an F minor seven, but I like substituting this three four or five, but I'll show you how I substitute it and what, what passing chord I use. So I play starting from the beginning, the Lord, whom shall I fear, whom shall I be afraid. Now what did I do there? Also I included an extra chord in the beginning. All I did right when I played in the beginning from the four. Instead of staying on the four for all that time, I use the one, which is a secondary dominant, as a passing chord. But instead of playing it as a dominant, I just played it as a major 13 chord. So the Lord is my light and 
salvation, whom shall I fear? Right? So many different versions for this chord, whom shall I fear? Then I played a secondary dominant, which will lead me to the five. So I played this chord, which is the two, an E flat nine, 13. Whom shall I be afraid to the five? Now, why am I playing a five instead of a three? Something that you can notice is that when we play an F minor seven or a three, right? Minor seven, you see that the five, which is A flat major, is embedded within that chord. So it sort of works as a substitution. Now, the, the, what I do to this chord is change the voicing. I actually make it a major 13 voicing, which is a little bit different, but it works with this particular song. So, the Lord is my We can get back to that four chord by playing a secondary dominant or the five of the four, which is a one. And we can voice it as a dominant chord or C sharp seven or C sharp nine. The Lord is my God. Whom shall I All I'm doing is playing different melody lines all within the C sharp major scale, right? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. Right, same progression. I will Play the three. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. In, the, in this case, I used a different three. Still within that dominant family, right? In this case, I'm playing a F7 altered, which is a sharp nine, sharp five. But if we think about it in in terms of chords, I'm just playing a C sharp major triad over an F7 chord, right? And if your left hand can't reach or can't stretch this far, we can just play that in our right hand. Whom shall I fear? Shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. Now we move on into a next part of the song, which is a different progression, right? In this case, the simple numbers or simple chords are two, six, three, six, four, right? Very simple. Two, six, confident in this, I will see four, then the one, then a five. It's a little bit long, but the chords are simple. Now, what substitutions and what passing chords can we use in here? In this case, I like voicing my two as an E flat minor 11 chord. It's a bit of a stretch. Right, but I'm playing an E with the E flat with its fifth and its ninth in the left hand, and my right hand is playing F sharp, A flat, C sharp, and F sharp. 
So two, then a six. I'm playing this voicing that we used in the previous verse. Then a three. I am playing an F minor seven. And I like using this grace note over here, which goes from the B flat to the C. So, and then we're back to the six, which in this case I voice with the same voicing, but a different inversion. So, I will remain confident in this. I will see. And here the voicings start changing, right? For F sharp, which is the four, I am playing an F sharp major nine with this voicing that you can see on the screen, right? It's an F sharp with the fifth and ninth. Then my right hand is playing a B flat, F, and B flat. I grace from E flat to F and then back to the one which I'm playing a C sharp major 9 or major 13 so let's start from that from that two again right so six five as a passing chord to go to the four the goodness of the Lord right and we finish off on the five but then there's a progression which I heard recently I forgot where but I really love the way that they brought it back to the two after finishing on the five so usually we would we would think let's do a secondary dominant right Right, and that's how we get to the two. But in this case, this is what they did, right? They finished, I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Now, what are those chords that we're using and what's the theory behind them so first let's go behind um through the theory behind them right the chords that we're playing right we finished off on the five and then we played this chord which let's just talk in terms of the root note we're playing a playing a c then an f then a b flat and then we're back to that two which is an e flat we pay attention to the root of those chords we're simply playing a circle of fourths right we played again a c then we went up to the fourth of c which is an f then up a fourth to b flat then up another fourth to e flat okay now what are the voicings that i'm using with these chords right we start off with this C, which in this case is technically a seven. Right, we're playing a C and we're voicing it as a C7 altered chord. Now this chord right here is simply an A flat major in this inversion over a C7. And the reason why I'm playing this inversion is because of the melody that this progression plays in this case, right? We play I'll, I'll show you at the end what the melody does, but if you pay attention to the way we're voicing it, that melody fits in very well with the harmony of the chords. So this is that C7, sharp 9, sharp 5. Then we play an F minor 11. It's a bit of a stretch, but you can get the, the notes from the screen. Then we play a B7, flat 9. And this chord, all it is, is simply a B flat with the minor seventh. And then we simply go up by three half steps. One, two, right? Three notes and four notes. We're just, all these notes are separated by three half steps. That gives us that B, B flat seven flat nine. And then we're back to that two, which is an E flat minor 11. So once again, like I said, the melody within these voices in this
this case, if we pay attention to the melody, it's descending through the piano, right? It goes, wait, sorry. Right? We play it with the bass note. And if we play it all together, away but that's basically the whole song right there and some of the chords that i use within this song so what i want to do now as i always do in all my videos is play the song a little bit more improvised and that way you guys can steal or share or learn different chords and progressions that you can also use within this song okay 